are back, people. Lighting's terrible, right? Oh, there we go. Boom, we're back, everybody. We started up a bunch of samples today. This time, they're going to live. Uh, I did it right. Um, I'm gonna be taking extensive notes on this one. And as you can see, they're already all hooked up right here. So we got Chlorella vulgaris back here. We've got the Tetrasomomus, and the clear ones are pond water. So they're all hooked up with air, except for this one. I didn't have enough air hoses, so we're gonna have to shake this one up a bunch of times during the day. All right, everybody, here we are five days into this new, these new samples, and they look like they're doing great. So here's our chlorella vulgaris right here. This is the tetrasilamus, this lighter green colored stuff. The clear stuff is the pond water. We're starting to see a little bit of growth in there, which I'll show you in just a minute. And then on the top shelf, I had a little bit more pond water left over, so I added some nutrients to it, um, as well as a little bit more distilled water uh, for a little bit more of a growth medium there. And then these two, were other little samples that I started as well um, that just had a little bit of distilled water and then um, a little bit of nutrients as well plus there were some contaminants that got in here like a dead bug and so I just thought well let's just see if we add some nutrients if we can get some algae to grow and it's hard to see but it is starting to get a little green in there um, and then in here we've got a little bit more algae growing and I added just a little bit, I know this is going to sound weird, but I added just a sprinkle of sawdust to it because I wanted to see if this algae could break down, um, like the sugars or whatever in the sawdust and break down the sawdust and build off of it. Uh, so that's what we have up here. All this was all kind of started on the same day. This big, almost full gallon sample here. I don't know if you can see, but there's some nice green coming in on that. So everything down here is also looking fantastic. You can see some nice green in there from the chlorella. The tetrasilamus has got some good growth going on down in there. And we're starting to get a little bit of growth. It's hard to tell because it's so clear, but a little bit of growth in the pond water. So I'm 3D printing more caps like these ones for the rest of them here. And that's about it. <clears throat> so everything's looking good so far. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. If you're new here, definitely subscribe uh, because we're gonna be doing um, big stuff with this batch here. I'm actually moving soon um, from my apartment to a house. So all this stuff is gonna come home and it's gonna live in my garage or utility room or something like that there. So we don't wanna get too crazy with it right now because that's gonna happen in like a week and a half. We're gonna move. so. I'm gonna have to move all this stuff here, so I wanna make sure that um, there's not too much liquid that needs to be moved. Um, but everything that you see here is gonna go home where it'll be a little bit easier for me to keep an eye on it, at, you know, in the mornings, in the afternoons, and it's gonna be a good thing. So, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.